All right, Ryan, I see that you want to talk a little bit about flexible storage sharing, which I know is a new feature for us. Sure. How about if you uh, explain just a little bit about what it is and how it works? Sure. So flexible storage sharing, or FSS, is a new feature we introduced in Cluster File System 6.1. And the real goal of that is to eliminate the SAN, let our customers run SAN-free and control everything inside the server. All right. So let's look at a traditional Tier 1 application. This could be a database. It could be um, a, a a trading application, really anything that needs high performance, high availability, that's going to generate revenue uh, for your customers. So in that case, you generally have one server, but more than likely, you have two or more for a distributed file system, like clustered file system, or high availability for fast failover. In the middle, you have generally a switch, right? Could be fiber channel, could be InfiniBand, could be an Ethernet type switch. And on the bottom, you have your storage arrays. These are typically your tier one, say EMC, IBM, HDS, and so forth. But you're not just going to have one for either performance or replication, availability needs. You're probably going to have multiple of these. They could be even spread across the world for long distance replication. So when you look at this, this is you know, SAN 101. This is basic server, switch, storage. That's what it comes down to. And when you ask yourself, how have these things improved over the past 10, 15 years, have SANS have matured and gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, where's the improvement coming from, right? Inside the server, you have bigger RAM, bigger CPU, and things like PCIe, attached storage, for faster buses to faster storage. In the middle, you have you know, faster interconnects, whether it's InfiniBand, uh, RDMA, or gigabit Ethernet, 10, 40, even 100 coming soon, you got bigger pipes for bigger applications. But on the back end, these storage arrays, they're pretty much maxed out, right? There's no 30K spinning disk. So what some people are do is looking at all flash arrays, say Extreme IO or Violin. But what that really brings in is more complexity, new architectures, and more money. And even with those all flash arrays, you still have the network going between, generally about 700 microseconds at the minimum. So what FSS does in CFS is allows customers to take advantage of that PCIe or really any storage inside the server and share it across all the nodes in that cluster. So now I can have a, essentially a shared nothing distributed file system using CFS, which eliminates all of this infrastructure. No more switches, no more storage, no more high cost, high OPEX solutions, right? And with this, because it's all shared nothing, I can quickly add a third host or a fourth host or however many I need without any storage whatsoever. So if I need new, more CPU bandwidth for my applications, this node joins the cluster, reads and writes from its neighbor's nodes. I'm done with my CPU usage. I drop him off. He goes away. True OPEX, true software defined storage, right? So with FSS and 6.1, what we're seeing is 4x the performance over SAN by using, using these internal controllers and internal bus speeds. We're seeing a 20% of cost, so an 80% cost reduction, because we've removed this huge amount of infrastructure. And we're also seeing a great reduction in OPEX because of the ease of use of adding and removing clusters into this environment. And to us, that's what software-defined storage is. You're controlling everything from mirroring, striping, replication, availability, all inside the host, all with our software. So how many nodes can actually be added into uh, an FFSS cluster at this point? So at this point, we support eight, and okay. we're looking to expand that moving forward past 6.1. Fantastic. This looks great. I can see the benefits that customers can actually get from being able to implement this, just getting rid of the SAN structure alone. It would be fantastic. It's a massive reduction in, in operational overhead, for sure. Well, it makes sense. Well, thank you so much for taking the time, Ryan. We appreciate you explaining flexible storage sharing, and hopefully this uh, will, be, will be helpful for everyone else out there in video land.